Crystal, thank you. We are getting a closer look at the house where Jacksonville police say they shot and killed a man overnight. Yeah, we're waiting to be briefed a little bit later by police, but early this morning they told us that an officer shot that man after he grabbed the officer's taser. This happened on East 19th Street, just south of the Martin Luther King Jr. Expressway. Crime scene tape around the home has now come down, and Channel 4's Ashley Harding has been there all morning talking now to the wife of the man who was killed by the officers. And, and Ashley, I know it's a, a, a difficult situation, and we're still waiting to get all the details, but what is she telling Well, Vic, she basically says that what actually happened is different from what the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, she says JSO uh, says that this man took the taser from the officer. She insists that is not what happened. You can see her looking, looking live right here. She's sitting on the front porch in front of the home. She says this happened right in front of her. She's devastated. She's angry. She said this did not have to happen. She says, yes, she is the one who called police. And she is telling a confl conflicting story from what the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. You know, police said they were called here yesterday about 730 or so about a domestic violence incident. She says she is the one who called. And they said the man was not there. The wife has identified him as Selwyn Hall. The man was not there. They were called back later on. This was after midnight. Police returned to the scene. They found the man in that car. If you look live at that car right there, it's the same one in the drive park parked right there in the driveway. They said they yelled at him to get out. They said he resisted and would not get out of the car. Once he was out, they said he continued to resist. And then they say an officer grabbed his taser. And then they say the man took the taser from the officer. That's when that officer opened fire. But Joanne Hall insists that that was not the case. She actually told me that the officer put her husband in a chokehold. She insists her husband did not take the taser from the officer. She's angry. She says she wants the truth, what she said, is the truth to come out. Here's more of what she told us. He didn't deserve to die. You understand me? He did not deserve to die. And he's dead. He didn't have to shoot him that many times, even if he did shoot him once. He could have shot in the air. And she tells me she did have a domestic violence injunction protection order against her husband, but she said that she and her husband had reconciled and they were working on getting their marriage back together. And Joanne Hall tells me she is now in the process of trying to notify other family about what happened. JSO says they will hold another briefing to talk a little bit more about what happened once more details do become clear. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that. Live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.